Hey everyone, welcome to Lightroom in a Snap. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to locally adjust your hue, saturation, and luminance, or HSL, of specific colors using masks. It's a common complaint that the HSL sliders aren't available within mask adjustments, but that doesn't mean you can't achieve the same effect. Lightroom masking actually makes it fairly easy to do so. The steps I'll be showing in this episode are available in both desktop versions of Lightroom, the cloud-based Lightroom app and Lightroom Classic. If you're not familiar with the differences between the two Lightroom apps, I've included a link in the description to my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is the best for you. As always, if you find this content helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss new videos as they're released. Now let's hop over to Lightroom Classic. If you prefer to use the Lightroom Cloud app, don't worry. The steps are identical using the masking tools there as well. Here's a lightly edited photo I took last year here in Texas. There are two main areas of strong color here, the rusty orange and red leaves and the tall grass in the foreground. Right now, I like the way the leaves look, but I think the boldness of the grass is a bit too strong and pulls the eye away from the rest of the image. Now, I could go into my adjustment panel and pull down the overall saturation, but that'll obviously desaturate all the other colors in the image, which I don't want. Conversely, I could go into my color panel and draw down the saturation on just the reds and oranges, but that still impacts the leaves since it's a global adjustment being applied to the entire image. If I decided to attack this issue by creating a mask, well, there are no HSL sliders in the masking adjustments. If I use a radial mask on the grass to pull down the saturation, I'm also going to desaturate the greens and blues of the background colors. Again, not what I want. So what do we do? This is where a complex mask group made up of one mask that's intersected with a color mask can really save the day. I'll first create a new radial mask and drop the saturation. Let's just go with minus 50, just so it's easy to see in the video. Now, to make sure I'm only impacting the oranges and reds in the grass, I need to hold down my Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac to bring up the Intersect option instead of the default Add and Subtract mask options. I'll click on that button, and for this example, I want to create an intersection between the radial mask I already created and a color range mask. You'll notice that now that I've chosen to select a color range, my cursor's changed into an eyedropper when I hover anywhere in the image. Now, I just need to select part of the grass to let Lightroom know what color I want that radial mask to intersect with. To make that easier, I'm going to hold down the spacebar and then click on the image to zoom in. Now, by clicking on a spot within the grass, I'll select that color range. Now, if I zoom back out, just hold down the spacebar and click on the image again, and hit the O key to turn on the mask overlay, you can see that the radial mask I created is now only impacting the image where it overlaps, or intersects, with that reddish-orange color of the grass. So that's let me adjust the saturation of the grass, but what if I also wanted to change the hue and luminance of the grass too, just like I can in the global HSL panel? Since I already have this intersected mask created, I just need to use the exposure slider to change the luminance and the hue slider to change the color. And just like that, I've now adjusted the hue, saturation, and luminance, or HSL, on a single color on just one part of the image, even though the dedicated HSL panel is not technically available within your mask adjustments. As I toggle this mask one group on and off, you can see that only the grass has been adjusted. For another quick example, if I wanted to change the luminance of the darker leaves on the upper right and maybe shift their hue more to the orange side while also boosting the saturation to better match the leaves on the left, I could use the same intersected mask concept for an HSL adjustment on them as well. For this, I created a brush mask and intersected it with a color range to control exactly where those HSL adjustments were applied, as you can see as I toggle this mask group on and off. It does take a few extra steps than if there was a dedicated HSL panel within the mask adjustment tools, but as you just saw, that doesn't stop us from achieving the same results. One more quick note. If you enjoy these tutorials and find them helpful, I would be really grateful if you took advantage of the new thanks feature here in YouTube to show your appreciation. Your support will help ensure I can continue to create valuable content like this going forward. And that's Lightroom in a snap.